is this Tournament of the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft from the Time Shot server. Uh, today we're going to be uh, picking up kind of where we left off before the Mindless Mine. Well, not really. We've been doing a we've been doing a fair bit of work since then. Uh, but we're going to be giving I'm going to be giving you guys some updates on what I've been doing out here at Tortoise Island. You may be able to tell some of them already. Um, cleared enough a lot of the trees. Actually, did some planting of some other things. Um, I started work on my home here. I don't know if you guys can tell what it's supposed to be or not. I, I guess I hope you can, but, uh, you know, I'll leave that open to your interpretation. Eh? Eh? I wanted to go a little rustic out here. Um, you know, I, 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 I we're kind of out in the, on this little island in the middle of a swamp going all kind of, you know, beginning of the world sort of thing. And I've got some ideas for my future, like, out of the world base. Um, or at a spawn base, rather, um, and I think that's gonna be a little more, uh, you know, advanced kind of stuff, so I wanted to be a little more rustic on my starting base, so I've pretty much just been expanding on what we've already started last time we were out at Tortoise Island. Um, our cow herd is growing along nicely, uh, we've got some reeds going here, um, our crops have expanded quite a bit, um, I think we were significantly smaller in our fields last time we were out here so that's all been going around uh, around the island a little bit got a little bit of a chicken farm going here maybe get some eggs we can gather up maybe maybe, maybe. yep there we go let's see if we get any more chickens uh, maybe no no chickens I've gotten pretty lucky Oop. gotten pretty lucky with uh, throws previously I think I think I, I hadn't gotten like any off of like the first 12 I threw and then I got like three eggs over the course of time and I threw them and like one gave me four chickens, one gave me one and the other one gave me one or something like I got real lucky there. So I uh, was, was hoping. But yeah, so working uh, working along nicely out here, been gathering some resources and things like we had some visitor, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, went out to the under farm to get some more pearls. Uh, I haven't organized any of this stuff yet, but we've been gathering some more wool from our sheep. Um, so that looks good. We got some more banners going. We got a lot more stone and um, wood and stuff as well. We did mindless mining last time, and I think Poet maybe was using a silk touch pick, um, and he didn't want nobody was pick whoever whoever was using the silk touch didn't want any of the smooth stone they dropped. So I figured I'd grab that. Um, some resources from from that as well, uh, and we got some more banners going from the orange wool. I could make more, but I just haven't. Uh, and then more junk. So, uh, yeah, been busy though, uh, gathering resources. Uh, I did a little bit of terraforming to the island. I, I've got a map going here so I can keep track of our kind of progress, see how we're laying things out. Um, so yeah, we've got our, uh, our tortoise shell home here. Uh, I figured it was fitting for Tortoise Island. We needed something iconic on it. Um, and I, I love, um, the last couple of series I've done in Minecraft, both Farside and I guess then my Lord of the Rings series. I lived in a hobbit hole, which it was essentially the same hobbit hole but with tweaks, and I really was proud of that build. That was something I'd kind of come up with myself. Um, but I didn't want to do just another hobbit hole on here, but I figured this was kind of a, almost like a TP sort of thing. I'm thinking I might, well we'll play around with it today, but I'm thinking I might do like a, I don't know, kind of a, a subtle slope in the floor. This is obviously too too deep, but I want to do maybe with like half slabs, uh, do a, a little bit of a slope down and maybe have like a fire pit in the middle with a with this, uh, you know, opening in the roof for the smoke to go through, or maybe put a chimney in with a hood. But, or maybe we'll just end up putting a fireplace in here. I want to incorporate fire somehow, but unfortunately this build is wood. So that could be challenging. It could be challenging. I guess we'll see... Um, see how it ends up playing out. Um, I could always build up a little bit of earth here to kind of block the fact that I'm gonna, I would have to change this to something non-flammable, just a bit of this wall. Um, I considered using like clay and stuff, but as I was designing the tortoise shell here, I really decided I needed it, I needed to use make use of like slabs and stairs and things like that, which unfortunately we still don't have clay or uh, the andesites or, or anything like that with those uh, with those particular uh, options. So uh, it ended up being wood. Um, could have done stone, but it just didn't feel quite right. I may change out the oak wood for stone at some point. Well, I guess we'll see. At, at present, I'm pretty happy with it. it. It's all one texture, which bothers me a little bit. 
Um, and I would like to try and mix some stone in out here, so it might make sense to put a little bit of stone into this build, but we'll figure that out as we go along. Um, at present, though, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but let's take a look at what we ha what happened here. I'm sure the episode will be going out uh, before this one does, potentially, because this will be my fourth episode. Um, the episode was not up yet, but we got uh, paid a visit, but all their names are on here somewhere. Um, yeah, so this is from Mara, April, and Huck, and they came out and they left us uh, a ton of cookies, a ton of cookies. Uh, it was harder to place uh, cookies than it should have been, it took too many signs, uh, they called me chubby, which is just not fair. <laughs> The shell holds in my fat very nicely. It's like a little corset. It's very slimming. I don't appreciate the... Uh... <laughs> no, but it was nice. And then they came out and started Sign Farm 2.0, which is unfortunately right in my front yard. So it may disappear at some point. Uh, I guess we'll see. If I remove this chest, this, they all probably pop off, unfortunately. So I don't know. We'll figure something out there. Um, maybe we'll we'll relocate the farm, uh, Sign Farm to a, a more isolated corner of the island. Maybe maybe put the new sign farm over here or something. <laughs> People can stop by and leave us messages or whatever. But we got lots of those. Um, Hook is bunch of me sent help. Uh, and then Edson stopped by at some point uh, as well. Um, I was gathering resources. I went to the end to pick up more ender pearls and Edson was streaming and he felt like um, he was still a little sore. Um, over uh, a little bit of shenanigans that uh, that me and some people from after mindless mining had uh, gotten into unfortunately I paused my recording after mindless mining and forgot to restart uh, so I'm not gonna have that footage but we had some fun uh, afterwards and I'm sure it'll be up on everybody else's channels uh, so I'll uh, I'll probably t be retweeting those when I see them come up so make sure to check those out when you guys uh, see those go out and if you're not following me on Twitter make sure you're doing so uh, although, if you are coming over here from the Time Shot crew, I'm sure you're following them, so you'll see the footage uh, when they send it out. So, um, and if you're not follow, if you're one of my own viewers, uh, I guess you're all my viewers now, but uh, if you were with me before I joined Time Shot, I guess I should say, um, and you're not also following the Time Shot crew, um, I would recommend doing that, because they're awesome, uh, and you'll, you'll, definitely, you'll definitely enjoy the content they put out. Um, but yeah, so had some friends not by, which was cool, uh, but Edson got a little sore and he was poisoning me and uh, actually What has been dubbed poison DDoSing he uh, poisoned me so much that uh, I got booted from the server or something It wouldn't let me back on I think I actually I was running on just straight up 1.8 and I think the servers on 1.8.7 um, And so I think that was what was causing most of my connection issues. I haven't had an issue since then So I'm assuming that's what happened I really like they've updated the map rendering. It used to be, before I updated, like the spruce showed up as, um, like the different woods didn't render as different colors. Um, like spruce showed up as just like black, uh, dark oak and oak rendered as pretty much the same shade. Um, but now it looks very, very nice. Um, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. So uh, yeah, basically just been getting started here. Um, it looks really, oh, well, let's see sleep real quick and then we'll uh, we'll do some stuff away from the island and then we'll come back and do a little bit of work out here um, there we go reset the day um, the island looks cool from afar let's see most of my boats are wandering uh, but that's actually okay well we'll just head over here uh, because we I found uh, in my wanderings over here I don't know I think it looks cool from a distance, I think it looks cool. And once we get the rest of the island set up, I think it'll be pretty awesome. Uh, okay, so we've got some guys over here in the swampland, uh, not dying because of our little water pools. Uh, there he goes. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh crap, we gotta go back to the island real briefly. Um, we found I found some wanderers over here, which I think might belong to Mara. Um, there's some pigs with saddles that I found wandering around in my swamp or I guess Fabe Swamp. The swamp that's near me, it's not, I can't claim ownership. There's too many other people living nearby. Uh, but, let's see, we'll drop that off. We'll probably should put my helmet back on. Uh, anything else, anything else? We don't need all this dirt at present. Where can I put it in our valuables just for now? Um, and is this where my leads are? I made some leads. I had killed a swine at some point. Here we go. There we are, beautiful. Um, 
so uh, I think when we were doing mindless mining, uh, Mara was there, and I think we stopped by her house afterwards for something, and somebody forgot to close her gate. It was not me, but somebody forgot to close her gate, and I think she said that her pigs had gotten loose. Um, and so I found these saddled pigs just wandering around in my, uh, in, in the swamp here. Again, I can't claim, uh, ownership necessarily, but, um, I found them wandering around, and they're definitely not mine, and so I thought maybe they might be Mara's. Um, although she is not real close to here, so I don't know, uh, whose they might be. I know previously, they're not anymore, but not too long ago they were doing, um, there's a slime. Uh, not too long ago they were doing, um, where the tab counter, uh, da -da 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 -da. like, so if I hit tab, it says zero. I think right now it's player kills. I've yet to kill anybody on this server. Um, but I think previous to doing player kills, they were doing, um, distance, uh, ridden on a pig, uh, or something. Oop, hey, slime. Kill him real quick. We can always use slime balls for something, whether or not we're doing, uh, I guess we can even do blocks now. We're in 1.8 again, which has been a while. All my modded stuff that I've been doing uh, for some time now is uh, 1.7, um, except for Pixelmon's not 1.8, but we had been in 1.7 for a very long time, and uh, uh, so it's been a while since I've dealt with some of the 1.8 stuff. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's... We got both of our pigs still. Let's head over this way. Um, but yeah, so somebody left her gate open. Previous to the tab, they had been doing distance traveled on a pig. Um, so I think lots of people might have had pigs going. Um, but we, you know, I, I know Mara's recently lost some, I think, and I don't know if she's tracked them down or yet not. Um, but we're gonna take them over there as a nice little peace offering. She brought us uh, some cookies, uh, which I, I'm guessing she probably made, given that on our tour she provided us cookies as well. Uh, so I'm gonna guess that that is a is a gift from Mara uh, that the other guys uh, joined in on her with. Uh, so we'll we'll pay her back with a, a little gift of some piggies here. And if she's got extra, she can always uh, cook them up. I guess I, I don't know if you get your saddle back when you uh, when you get off a pig or not. I don't if you kill the pig if it drops the saddle. I don't know, but maybe maybe she can get some saddles and some pork or just some new friends. That'll be entirely up to her. Uh, but we'll get a nice little tour of spawn today as well. Um, there's still some sections where I don't know if I've brought you guys yet. Um, we looked at like Sari's house last time um, and some other stuff. Um, and on our tour, obviously, we saw some things, but I don't know that we actually like checked out where Mara's house is uh, and things like that. Um, so we'll get to see a new section of spawn, which you, I think you guys will enjoy. It's a pretty pretty cool area it's a it's nothing like far side where like we had districts and everybody had to build kind of the same style and all that um, it's it's a little more organic and eclectic so uh, it'll be cool to check out here uh, the whole area used to be a dark oak forest Let's see our pigs are still with us which is fantastic um, but I think a lot of it has been uh, carved out at this point uh, let's see we've got the hall of heroes over here where we were last time, it was just you and I. We uh, we got our banner made, and then we went over there. Uh, so we can actually come this way. Well, the pigs should be able to jump anyway, but yeah, there we go. Um, Adios, duck. Um, and we're going to head over actually to the other side. Uh oh Pigs, how'd you get under the blockway? <laughs> All right, well, come on now. I don't want the leads to break. Come on, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on, little fellers. Look, I don't know what this orange clay is here for necessarily. Somebody just blocking stuff off. Oh, we're within range of the beacons, which could be good or bad. Um, come on, little piggies. You can do it. Come on. Giddy up. There we go. All right, so I think Mara is right here. Yes, and our pigs are still with us. No, this isn't Mara. She's got a fence around her whole place. Is this? This is the railway station again. Oh, uh, we gotta go out this way. Yes. 
You are correct, sir. All right, so yeah, we've got to head out this way. Um, spawn map is not updated. I figured I'd, I'd take these out to my to the swamp and and get that updated once we get things figured out. Okay, so we're right here, and Mara's house is right there, I think. So yeah, we need to go. Come on, biggest. We need to go over here. So she's kind of on the uh, outskirts of Poet's Tower there. Um, we got the ghost chicken on top of Sari's house. Uh, but yeah, we haven't not... Well, did we go to Mara's place? I know I've been out here. Um, I can't remember if we did in the tour or not. It's, especially, I don't know, because her house went in. We probably did. I remember talking about the Jeb sheep and stuff. Although that might have been in the shenanigans we did with Edson after the fact. Uh, but let's head in here. This is Mara's house. She built a very cute little house. We'll get our leads back. Oop! I don't know. Dismount. <laughs> don't want to place blocks in here. Uh, get rid of this. Get our lead back. There we go. Uh, so there we are. We've dropped off. Better close the gates because that's what started all this nonsense in the first place. She's got one pig, two pig. Those are the two I brought. Let me double check, see if she... Uh, is that... Yeah, so she must have had one pig in here. I don't remember how many she had before we stopped by last time. Um, but now she's got three pigs, and if those aren't hers... I guess if those were your pigs I found in the swamp, if you're a time shotter watching this, uh, and I just gave your pigs to Mara, well then, uh, stop on by Mara's place. It's cute, and you can get your pigs back. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so let's, uh, let's pop. That's Huck's place. Um, I think we want to maybe go back over this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Head back to, uh, Tortoise Island. See what we can't, uh, what trouble we can't get into over there. I want to I wanna try doing a little bit of stuff in the house um, with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Got to go along the whale ray. And this goes under the whale ray. What's this over here? I've not followed this path before. Although it goes into a birch forest, so yeah, it goes out to Anasia's place would be my guess. Or it goes out to the, uh, the Haunted Mansion, and then splits off to a nation's place. Okay. Uh, this Haunted Mansion was apparently built last Halloween, or some Halloweens ago, some sort of... We may explore this at some point, but, uh, at present, we've got bigger fish to fry, so we're gonna head back over to Tortoise Island, uh, take a look at the things that we can knock out, um, play around with where we want to put the fire pit, um, if we want it to be a fire pit or a fireplace, how we can make that work um, with the will build ending up being wood, um, it's a little more challenging to to deal with fire, so we'll have to make sure we... I think that looks cool. I think that looks cool. Uh, you guys let me know what you're thinking, but from my standpoint, you know, coming up on the island and stuff like that, looking at it in the maps, especially once they update the overview map, um, I think it'll look really awesome. Um, and give Tortoise Island uh, its namesake there, besides the fact that it's inhabited by a giant tortoise, um, uh, which is me. Uh, okay, so we're back out over here. Looks like night is falling a little bit. Uh, so let me dump some stuff in these chests here. I'm going to put my leads up in here. Uh, I think we put slime balls over here. Yes, we do. We'll pop these chickens down in our little chicken pit just to get that stuff uh, going. Little bit of lag. A little bit of lag, but that's okay. I don't generally get great ping on this server. I'm not sure where the server is located. If it's up in uh, Canada where Poet is, or I don't know where it's at. So I don't know if I should be getting decent ping. Um, usually, usually to get like centrally located, people will often host their servers in Chicago because we've got UK people and West Coast people and things like that. Um, so oftentimes I'm I'm kind of like right in the middle because I live kind of in the Midwest area, um, so it's usually not too hard for me to uh, to get a decent ping, but uh, have not really done so much on this server. And I thought maybe my lag issues were due to me running an older version of Minecraft, which it certainly could be. It hasn't been as bad since we, that happened, um, but. Uh, 
You never know. You never know. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, we've got this. Let's get let's get this stuff kind of out of here. And we'll we'll finalize the shape of the floor here later. In fact, let's quickly uh, sleep. Don't want any baddies interrupting us. Although my island, we're far enough from shore and lit up well enough that we don't really have a whole lot of issue with um, with mobs coming and uh, and bothering us on the island at least. Um, so that's nice for sure. Um, but you never know. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna first do this because this is the previous ring. And then we can fill in what's left externally. So let's do that there. And then we'll bring this up. Okay, and we'll maybe do a full two wide around the center there. Um, so we'll have to pull this out too. Right? Yes, do that. Um, although to get a feel for this, I don't necessarily need to put all of this in. You guys aren't going to be interested in seeing every ounce of this get put in. And I probably will have to play around with things a little bit uh, to get them right where I want them, so this may be totally different when you guys come back next episode. I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out. Uh, gonna have to get rid of that one, I think. Yeah. All right, and then and then so on and so forth here. Um, okay, and then if we want to do do this. Get up that way. So um, I'm going to be doing, you know, obviously some building on this series. Um, some stuff I find that I'm not the best. I like to plan out my builds. For those of you guys who are new here, I guess I'll explain how uh, how my process generally works. Um, I like to plan out my builds, and unfortunately, you know, so that means I'm not like organically doing it on the fly always. Um, and, uh, and so sometimes it's hard for me to build, like, if I'm trying to follow a plan that I've laid out previously, it's sometimes hard for me to do that on camera. So there'll be times, like with the, the, my tortoiseshell home here, where um, we don't really necessarily do it all together. Um, there'll be times where we will. If it's an easy enough build that I can, uh, I can manage to do it all um, with you guys, I'll try and do that because I think it's more interesting than popping back up and being like, oh hey, here we are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Som sometimes it's just hard to uh, walk and uh, chew bubblegum at the same time as Generic B says. Um, it, it, it is a bit of a, a bit of a stretch. So um, sometimes we'll we'll do you know updates, and sometimes I'll I'll make sure that I'm um, keeping you guys up to date on everything we're doing via doing it together. So. Um, We'll just see how that works. I, I, dev, I can tell you right now, I don't like all stone brick. Um, I don't hate it in terms of like the material, but it just it needs more texture. Maybe we'll get some smooth stone uh, slabs in here as well. Uh, let's see if I do that. We're gonna, uh... Yeah, but we need to do this. Seems right. Seems like it's looking good. We gotta break our bed here, unfortunately. We'll reset it. Although I don't think I can put my bed down on slabs, so we'll have to figure that out at a later point. Um, and we'll need to do that and that, I think. Uh, and this one is... Got some dirt. Fantastic. There we go. 
So, that's one thought. Um, and I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let's try. We've got some smooth stone here. Uh, let's try just some smooth stone slabs. Mix that in and see what that does for us. Our fire's already going, so we don't need that. Um, although, I should put it out just so I don't accidentally burn up materials here. Okay, so we've got... Let's put in... Put in some smooth stone down here. There we go. There we are. And... There we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. So then we've got this, and then this ring potentially becomes... Smooth? Um... I'm, it, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a bit intimidating being on this server. So many of these guys are such big stars for one, uh, although they're all very down to earth. More than anything, though, it's the fact that so many of these guys are such awesome builders. Like, I'm pretty proud of some of the builds I've done in the past, but compared to what these guys do, um, I'm a very small guppy. Um, they, like, even just, you know, I'm on my front door, I look out and I see pa Fabe's uh, Patreon tower out here. Um, and it's just like this t giant, towering, majestic thing. It's huge, it's greatly detailed, he makes great balance of different materials and colors and all that. He is amazing. And, and he even prefers, Fabe prefers to build underground. So he's not even, he doesn't even like doing above ground builds, and yet this thing is awesome. Um, and I'm more of like a, I guess by comparison, a cutesy builder? Um, yeah, I like that better. Now do I want to try... I could put another ring up here, but I feel like it might be too much. Um, so let's leave it like that for now. Let's get our bed back down if we can. Um, see. Yeah. Oh, we can place it on slabs. Okay, well that works. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly where I want that. That's kind of the problem with this design. It kind of makes most of this unusable. Like, obviously I can put walls, or like chests and stuff on the walls. This is all stairs, uh, so I can put chests anywhere and it'll open. Um, but, like, yeah. I mean, so this is cool and all. I like the idea. But I don't know if realistically if this is gonna work out necessarily. Now I could make this kind of more of like a public area sort of deal and make like a little house for myself, a little hovel somewhere else on the island, but I don't know that I want to do that. Um, obviously this is open, but again, like I said, we're far enough away from the rest of this and I'm lit up enough that we don't really have issues with mobs coming to mess with us on the island. Um, so like an open house isn't a huge issue um, and and nothing can walk through here I guess spiders could but uh, so I don't know that's one thought I may keep it like this or do some variant you guys let me know um, I also had a thought of doing just like uh, do, 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 do. where are my materials maybe I haven't made them yet so I've got some brick here that I cooked up. We are in a swamp, so it wasn't too hard to find um, clay. Uh, but, you know, I also considered doing, like, a, a straight-up fireplace um, that would go it would go up and out, and we would have, like, a... Uh, we would have, like, a fireplace chimney come out. Yes. No, I guess it would come out here. Um, yeah. So I'd, I'd given thought to that as well, um, but again, so like the, the chimney up against the wood there, um, that might be a little shorter than I was thinking for the chimney, actually. Let's see, do I have, did I have any brick left over? Or did I just use all my brick? No, I got, I've got stuff in the furnaces still. I was going to say, that wasn't all the brick I had. Um, so, and you make, you know, little clay pots. 
you know, basic stuff here. You guys know how it works. Uh, we definitely don't need the flint steel at the present. Um, but if we were to throw up, you know, some clay pots on here, make a nice little chimney coming out. Um, it would make this look more like a home and less like just a giant pixel art tortoise shell. Uh, put a little chimney in the wall there. Obviously deck that out with, you know, a mantle and everything like that. But then I've got issues of, ooh, being on fire. Uh, I guess that is part of an issue up here if I have animals wandering around, things like that. Open flames don't necessarily go real well, but it doesn't it doesn't ignite the build, which is a thing. So I could potentially try and do this. Um, and I don't know. I, I thought about maybe like terraforming up a little mound of like a little hill on this side of it or something. I, I would do it so it would look natural. Um, but that would allow me to kind of hide the fact that a lot of this would change to brick or stone or something like that. Something non-flammable. Enough that I could, you know, have a flame, you know, uh, and I would, I would obviously put it down, you know, so like these two dirt blocks would be replaced with the, with the netherrack. Um, and, uh, so the flame would be down a bit. Um, so I don't know how much we would have to replace. I would have to mess around with it. it again, it's been a while since I played on, um... Well, I guess Farside we turned off Fire Tick because things kept getting struck by lightning, which we will have to keep in mind here. Most of this is stairs and stuff, so we can't put string on it, um, but I think it'll still burn. So we've got to be careful for like lightning storms and stuff like that, but I just none of the other materials really looked right. But anyway, that's a whole lot of yammering uh, for, for a lot of nothing, I guess, for the most part. Um, I do kind of like this. Even if we don't put the fire plate in the floor, we could potentially do a little bit of a slopey thing. Maybe not, you know, this far down. Maybe we, you know, put another, make, you know, raise this up one more so we've got more space on here. Uh, and then, like, drop this down just one level or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We've got lots of options. Um, and so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I've been Torm of the Great and you guys have been great. I just wanted to give you guys an update here. Um, I'm probably going to try, at least for this early stuff, we'll probably be going back and forth. So we'll have like a collab episode, so like we had the tour and then we did some mindless mining. And then in between, I'll probably do some stuff, just you and I, um, just because uh, we've got a lot of work that we need to do uh, to get ourselves established on the server here. Uh, and I don't think anybody else is really going to want to, like, any of the other members are going to want to sit through, like, oh, hey, why don't we go build on my island, uh, sort of thing. Um, so, uh, we'll definitely be doing some collabs. I'm definitely going to, since this is such an awesome group of people, and they do um, do such a great job of collabing with each other and things like that, um, that we're definitely going to try uh, and, and keep our, our schedule balanced with that. Uh, we won't be doing lots of, well, well, we'll be doing probably as much solo as we do collab, at least for the early stuff. And then once we get established, we'll probably just be doing lots of shenanigans with people, uh, having the kind of fun that you guys come to expect from Timeshot and all of its awesome content creators. Uh, but yeah, for now, I think this has been Torm of the Grey, and you guys have been great. Uh, make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking on this. Um, it'll probably be a week before we're back out here. Like I said, we'll probably try and do some collabs next time. Um, so if you guys have any great ideas, let me know. Uh, chances are I might get to see it before the next one goes up. Although, uh, again, with summer being challenging, I'm, I'm kind of recording as I can. And I know a bunch of the time shutters are going to, like, Minecon and stuff, so... Um, I don't know, like, when I'll be able to get in touch with people and, and things like that. But we'll do our best. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tormer the Grand, you guys have been great. Uh, this has been Tormer from the Time Shot server. Make sure you leave those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you all back here next time on Time Shot and the Tortoise Island. Have a good one!